Have you ever done a search with some keywords that are very specific or in a strange order and then been surprised to find out that someone apparently wrote an AdWords ad with the exact same text as you just typed in? Well, odds are you were probably just advertised to by someone using what we call DKI or dynamic keyword insertion. It works like this. You as an advertiser can tell Google that you want your ad to change depending on what the person searched on and insert the same keywords the user is using into your ads dynamically. So let's talk about DKI and how to do it right with an example to illustrate the process. You might have an ad group where you're bidding on lots of similar keywords, like these. All of these are going to take a user over to the red handbag section of your website. And really, all of those keywords over there are just a different way to say red handbag. But the important part here is that these are the way that your customers are describing the product that you're selling. And they're much more likely to react to your ad if you use their language. But you probably don't want to write hundreds of different ads and then match them up with each of these exact keyword bids. So DKI lets you take a shortcut. Now the neat thing here is that there's nothing to turn on and there's no setting or feature to enable. You simply use some special characters when you're writing your ad. If you use these curly brackets with the word keyword and a colon after it, then Google will recognize what you're trying to do. The way to read this is that if the keyword you're bidding on that triggered your ad to show will fit in this headline, then stick it in here. If not, use the default of red purses. In short, the system will automatically replace the default that you put in those curly brackets with whichever keyword was matched from your list. So, if I typed in red handbags, then this headline would read red handbags in stock. If I typed in maroon long strap purse, then it would default to red purses in stock because the headline with my keyword in there would be too big. One critical point to bring up here is that the keyword that's used in the replacement is the term from your account that triggered the ad. In the case of broad match or phrase match, this is not necessarily exactly what the searcher typed into the search box. There are some major advantages to using keyword insertion. By showing the searcher the terms that they searched on within your ad text, your ad will have text that is more relevant to their search. It's been shown time and time again that people are overwhelmingly more likely to click on an ad with text that matches or closely reflects what they were searching on. And remember, as an added bonus, your ad will stand out with bolded text since Google automatically bolds terms that are part of a user's search query. A great example of where this can be used effectively is if your business has a large inventory of model numbers or part numbers. Rather than creating a generic ad or alternatively an individual ad for potentially hundreds or thousands of products, you can create one ad group per type of product and include all the model numbers or part numbers in the ad text via DKI. So, you can see that there are some really good uses for DKI out there, but let's talk a little bit about its limitations and some things to watch out for. Even with DKI, it's nearly impossible to create a single generic ad that will be relevant to keywords that are not tightly themed. So while it may make sense for the red purse maroon purse example, you can't use that ad for all your other products, like those jackets that you sell. And keep in mind that when a user clicks on your ad, they go to the ad destination URL that you defined as a landing page. So red purses searches should go to the red purses landing page, which means I can't just throw my jackets terms or even my blue purses terms into that same ad group. Another thing to keep in mind is that many of the keywords that trigger an ad to show just don't fit the phrasing of the ad text. In my example, the keywords were all tightly themed around a color and a noun that was a synonym for purse, so it was pretty easy to build ad text that would work across the board. But if you started including a larger set of keywords that weren't so tightly themed or constructed, something like purse repair, then it wouldn't make any sense and your ads would likely perform pretty poorly. Now here's a tip. You can actually use DKI anywhere in the ad text, including the display URL. And remember, the display URL is just what the user sees. It doesn't have to be a real URL. So your ad could show a destination URL of slash maroon handbags to people looking for maroon handbags and slash red purses to people looking for red purses. Now here's another tip. If you've put any misspellings in your keyword list, then watch out. 
Going after commonly misspelled words can often be a great strategy, but you wouldn't necessarily want to repeat that misspelling in your ad text. An ad like this just makes you look silly. And while they aren't technically wrong, both single word keywords and broad match keywords tend not to work very well with DKI. The problem is that they're just not targeted tightly enough to be effective, especially when used in a headline. For example, the single word phone doesn't really make a good headline for an ad. It looks kind of weird or even spammy, and it's probably not going to perform very well. So as you can see, DKI can be an incredibly powerful tool for you. But as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. So use it wisely.